Welcome to the project demonstration of wireless charging of electrical vehicles using wind energy. So here the main uh, like source is wind turbine and which was attached to the 1000 RPM DC generator. So here you can see the gearbox. So this black color is the gearbox and this one is the 2400 main generator. So turbine to gearbox, gearbox to the generator, the gear ratio will be increased. Means when we are rotating this one uh, 1000 rotations per minute, the base motor will uh, get the 2400 gear ratio per minute. So when we rotate in that speed, then it will generate 12 volt 20 watts DC. So that is the input to the battery for charging purpose. Means whenever the wind uh, power available, then we are going to charge this battery. Coming to the battery pack, we are using uh, 6 4 volt 1 amp batteries and in that 3 uh, 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series and here three uh, these 3 are in series so we will get 12 volt 2 amp so from one battery pack 12 volt 1 amp these two are in parallel we will get 12 volt 2 amp DC output so through this switch that is input to the function generator so here we are generating the frequency of 150 kilohertz 12 volts and that uh, signal is input to this H bridge circuit so from there we are going to get the 12 volts 150 kilohertz of AC signal and that is input to the transmitting coil. So here the transmitting coil which will take the AC input of 12 volts 150 kilohertz and that will be generated the EMF and when we place a robot or a vehicle so which has the receiving coil in that region then this coil will get the induced and that induced EMF will be converted into the voltage and that is input to this charging circuit. So from uh, this charging circuit we are going to convert the AC to DC as we are using the DC battery of 12 volts 1 amp here and that DC is for uh, the charging circuit uh, charging purpose of this battery through this electromagnetic relay. So here the relay will get switched on whenever the battery voltage is less than the 11 volts then only the controller will get that uh, decision to on this relay to charge the battery. When it is fully charged again it will off the relay and the so called receiving voltage from this receiver coil and the battery voltage continuously displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen. So the voltages will be measured with the help of this voltage sensors. So they are using the two voltage sensors. So this one is the voltage sensor 1 for the battery and this is voltage sensor for the receiving coil voltage measuring purpose. So both voltage sensors consist of two resistors. They are acting as a potential divider circuit. So as the potential divider circuit consists of the 10 is to 1 potential dividing ratio. Whenever the battery voltage is 12, the input to the voltage sensor is 12 volts. But the output from the voltage sensor is it's around 1.2 volts. So that is the input to our microcontroller. So that controller can measure the voltage easily which is less than the 5 volt. For that purpose only we are making use of this voltage sensor. So on this transmitter section let us see the component wise description. So is, uh, we are using 12 volt 20 watt DC generator and uh, that is input to the charging circuit and from there to the battery. So on this charging circuit we can see the four diodes which will as a rectifier purpose. Though we are providing the DC inputs, so here the rectifier purpose is like if we rotate in any direction either counterclockwise or a clockwise there we can see the output display uh, we can see the output indication on this LED uh, there is now counterclockwise. So we can see the LED indication from this charging circuit. So whenever the wind power is not available you can charge a battery with the help of this transformer by providing the 230 volts AC inputs. Either continuous uh, voltage from the transformer or, or wind turbine it will get fully charged in a duration of 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum. So once the time completes automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow from the battery to the reverse as a uh, there we use the another extra diode which will act as a uh, reverse current polarity purpose means it will allow the current flow from the battery sorry from the charging circuit to the battery whenever uh, the battery is charging so once the battery is getting fully charged before demonstration we should take care of the battery should be in fully charged and then you can on the circuit so after led on and off two times then the signal is transmitting to the coils so now let us see the demonstration so we can control the robot this vehicle movement also with the help of this switches right so it's a forward motion both means forward both facing backward like this okay and left and right also alternating one so now when we on this and you can the on off switches for this battery this one on LCD display we can see the voltages 
so when we on this transmitting coil you can see the LED indication and the voltage also it's around 12.9 12.h so when I off this slowly the capacitor start discharging we can see the voltage also decreasing when I on it again right you can see the 12.2 is the receiving voltage R voltage is receiving voltage and B voltage is the battery voltage so as of now the battery is fully charged that's why the relay is off state only so when I make the fault of low voltage by disconnecting the battery voltage the controller will take a decision I am getting the zero volts that's why the controller switched on the relay to charge the battery can see the receiving voltage now 12.2 now the battery is charging by uh, receiving coil so when we connecting back again the relay will get switched off as the controller getting the sufficient voltage indication right okay and the back left right right okay